Hey, this is a different type of video, okay? This is a different type of video. This is motivation. So right now, I'm a little low-key. Usually I'm a little hyper and everything like that. I'm a little low-key. Today, I'm doing something that I'm going to push myself. I'm doing something different. I'm leaving the country, going to another country. I've done that before a couple times, right? But on this trip, I'm doing something just one step higher, a little bit more. So my point is, I want to talk about motivation in this video. So this video is for people who, you know, want to be traders, stock investing, beginner people. This is, if you already have multi-million dollars, you don't need this. But for people who need help to stay consistent and keep going and things like that, okay, I'm talking to you, all right? So I just want to touch some general topics here. And per se, this, I'm not going to really talk about trading or investing or stocks right now. I'm just going to talk about some more mindset I'm talking about in this video, okay? So about pushing yourself. So sometimes, you know, as people, as human beings, our brains want to keep us comfortable all the time, you know, just as comfortable as possible, you know, just do the same things over and over. That's not good if you want to grow as an investor, a trader, anything like that. You have to be willing to expand yourself, go outside your comfort zone. Okay, so what am I talking about? All right, so there's gonna be some examples. People who don't like these examples, who think I'm bragging or whatever, go somewhere, just go somewhere. All right, so in the past trip before, I've been to Australia, right? So when I decided, I said, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to Australia, okay? I didn't tell people until two weeks before I was going because a lot of people consider Australia dangerous. I'm based here in the United States, okay? So then I was like, I'm going to do it. This is what I did. I made the arrangements of the first three nights of flying in. I was going to be there a month, okay? So I only had the hotel stay for the first three days. And then I had the hotel stay for the last, like, two days, okay? And so everything else I did in between that month of time, I had it open so I could travel the whole, you know, country or whatever. So I had freedom and I liked that. And so then, so I was pushing myself. I wasn't rigid. I left some, I left, clearly I left space open. And I knew I would arise to the occasion. I said, there's no way you're going to stay just in Sydney the whole time. You're going to move yourself around that whole country there. So I did. I went to all of the territories except Perth. That's all the way. So for people in the United States, that would be the California side. So it's equivalent of me doing everything of the Northeast, the top of the United States, um, the Southern part of the United States. I flew off the continent. I went to Tasmania. And then I even did a ferry thing. Bruni Allen came back to Tasmania, flew back to the main island. Okay. So that's the trip where... I expanded myself. So, because I've done trips before, but, you know, I didn't have so much room like that. And then also, another thing, I went in the middle of the outback, but I was on a tour. Okay. So, if anybody, anybody who went to Australia, you've been in the outback, okay, so you know there's Ayers Rock, they call it Uluru, okay, and the native word for the aboriginals. Write some comments down below. Tell me how you liked Australia, because it's been a minute since I've been there, okay? So, in the middle, there's nothing around. You can't jack around when you go there. Okay. So we're talking about, when I say push your limits, uh, get used to being uncomfortable, you know, uh, learn how to think uh, on your feet kind of things. You need this for trading, for dealing with money, because things arise and you have to react. Like stock news comes out. What are you going to do? You got to make decisions. Okay, you have to make decisions, but you got to make good decisions. So, and as you keep doing these things and you're, you know, you're, you're in these situations and you're figuring it out, you gain more and more confidence for yourself. So, when I was in the middle of the outback, we slept out under the stars overnight. We, they call them swags. So, equivalent sleeping bags but for, for the desert in a warm daytime, cold at night. Okay, but, you know, the scorpions out there, right? So will I get bit by a scorpion? I don't know. Okay, but we're going to do this. I'm with a group. I'm not on my own. I'm not saying, no. okay, I was with a group, but 
It's not like someone's up all night protecting us from scorpions or whatever the heck is going to happen. One thing I must say, that sky was beautiful. When I looked up, one of the most clearest skies ever because the ozone layer, is, since there's nothing out there, it's not the pollution crowding the ozone. So the sky is beautiful. The stars, the star, the stars, you can see everything. It was great. You know, so it wasn't like light pollution too. Here in the United States, we have a lot of street lights on all the time. So you can't really see the stars all the time from certain places. Depends if you live in a city or whatever. Okay. So anyway, let me just briefly about this trip. In the middle, out back, so the bus is going to leave at a certain... So this is different part of this um, tour thing. So there's a bus. You better be on the bus when it's going. Because once things close down for the night, that's it. There's nothing out there, right? So, okay. I come out the little, let's say, rest area or whatever. Bus is supposed to be in front of the rest area. I go there. Where the hell is the bus? Okay. I'm like, hmm, no bus. And then I said, if that's my bus, my bus is gone, right? Okay, it's going to get cold tonight. What the hell? And then, but no panicking. That's another thing you, you can't do when you're trading stocks. When you're trading stocks, when you're in the markets, conditions will change on you, especially when the Fed is speaking. Oh, God, Fed pal, speak, drop some news. He say a little something, bloop, 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 stock market goes down. Okay, pandemic, stock market crashes, things like that, right? Black Swan events, what are you going to do? So, you know, as you get used to dealing with unforeseen things, but staying calm in the moment and just handling it, just handle it. And then with time, you'll know, oh yeah, I can handle this because I've handled this other thing. I handled this before and that before and that. So I will also get through this, right? Went back inside. I was like, okay, well, you know, my bus is gone. I'm going to figure this out. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to panic. I'm going to figure it out. All right. But you know what? I hear some noise. I go to the back out the other side of the rest area. The bus went around to the other side. The bus was in the back instead of in the front where it's supposed to be. Who knew? But thank God. Okay. So it's there. But the point is, you don't panic. You just, okay. You know, you have the ability to work it out. That's something I wanted to bring up. So there's different like ways of pushing yourself, right? Just a little bit. I'm not saying, not like, okay, for guys, you know, oh, summer's coming and whatever. I'm going to go to the gym. I haven't worked out in 80 years. I'm going to go and spend all day there and do all my body at the same time. No. And then the next day you can't move. Too much overkill. That's not smart. That's ridiculous. Okay. Gradual, slow and steady, a little bit. So that you can be consistent with these kind of things, okay? Not, I'm going to put all my money in the market today. This is it. No, that's gambling, okay? You take it slow and, you know, you just try to consistently a little bit, I'm not saying every day, but that would be great, but a little bit slowly improving on things, all right? And then also, what about the motivation here, but, the, but mindset? What about learning another language? Is there a language you wanted to do or an instrument you wanted to play? Because let me tell you, you're getting old as what? Okay, because we all are. No one here listening to me is getting younger. You're not. I'm not. We're running out of time. What am I talking? This sounds, if you ever read the book Meditations, okay, by Marcus Aurelius, right? You got to keep a little like stoicism in there, right? And when you do that, you're like, holy crap, time is crunching down on me. When you feel... That kind of way, talking about mindset again here, if for motivation, wow, I'm running out of time. I better hurry up and start making some moves. Then when I say hurry up, yes, get off your butt. Get off your freaking butt, like now. But don't try to do everything in one shot. Like have a plan about what, like what's your five-year plan, okay? And then if you have a five-year plan, break it down. Well, four years, three years, two years, one, monthly. What do I need to do every month to get me to that? Every week to get me to that? Every day. When you keep, when you break it down to get to that, because it's going to be the systems that help you get there, okay? And that's also the systems with trading. It's like if you analyze the stock the same kind of way, if you go about looking at the same kind of way, oh, 
Oh, this is the stock. Oh, is it performing good? Is it underperforming, outperforming? Is it kind of neutral? Is it at a support level? Is it at a resistant level? Okay. You know, is institutions buying? It? Like however your methodology is going to be for looking at something. You know, I'm only going to look at these kind of stocks, but not stocks. When stocks are those meme stocks, okay? They call them stocks. Okay, I'm not going to look at the meme stocks. I'm going to look at these. Or I'm only going to look at blue chips. I'm not going to look at make caps. You have to... You know, have your system of how you're going to go about it and try to be consistent and do the same thing all the time. So if you do this with your mindset too, with your life, as in, I'm going to slowly just get out my comfort zone a little bit more. So I'll be able to handle like all things better. Okay. I'm going to see also if I can learn something new because that helps rewire this brain. Okay. So I've been, people who know already, I don't know, I've been learning Spanish for a while. I've had a tutor, four years, okay? So, you know, you can call it for, you know, just to F around or whatever, but it helps, okay? Anything to help keep this brain going, all right? Let's see, what else do I want to say? I just have some notes here. What did, okay, I told you, all this, you know, pushing yourself, being comfortable with being uncomfortable, it'll help you when you're in the market. So sometimes, like, if it's 10 a.m. and you're in the trade, right, and then numbers are about to drop, like PCI numbers are coming out, PCE, uh, non-farm payroll numbers, Fed speaking, but you're in a trade, you're not out, and something is happening right as you're in that trade, you'll be like, okay, I'm not going to panic. I'm going to get out, but I'm going to get out smartly, not just knee-jerk reactions, okay? So this is the point of thinking, um, you know, these things through the, what I'm saying. Let's see. What else do I want to say? Oh, okay. So people who need motivation, but you don't have anyone around you who's motivating. That happens. Yeah. Okay. That happens. I know about that. Right? So one of the things you can do, okay, you are on YouTube right now, listen to a motivational video. There's a lot of motivational videos that have, you know, great speakers or dynamic with music playing in the background and all that, you know, People say, find somebody looks like you, sounds like you, That's, that works too. Whatever floats your boat to help you keep going at the rough times, because the point is don't stop, don't give up, okay? Don't give up, don't give up, okay? So listen to motivational videos and people and meet people who are doing stuff similar to you or, or just people who are greater than you. Watch them, how they're running and run like them. Make them the mark and like, oh, I want to run as fast as that guy. I want to run as fast as that girl or that woman, right? Look, they're doing it. I want to do it too. Just mimic the, the, you know, the flow. Oh, yeah, you know. Oh, wow, they're just, they're not just sitting down. Look, they're, they're a go-getter, okay? A lot of people say, wow, where do you get your energy from? You got a lot of energy and stuff like that. Right now, I know I seem low-key because I'm trying to save my energy. I have to go through the airport with the luggage and with my day trading laptop set up, okay? I had to go through, you know, TSA with all that stuff. That's a pain in the ass. So I'm trying to save my energy for that, all right? So, but motivational videos, motivational people. Something else, less TV. Okay, people are not going to like that one, but less TV. What about that? Yeah, what about less TV? Let's talk about that. You know, I'm not making this video... To get likes, people might not like this, right? It's not like, oh, yes, you know, oh, everything's so easy. No, less TV. That's a good thing. Yeah. So way back before Netflix was so popular and Hulu and all this in the United States, that's what we had. Um, when was it? When the um, Golden State, Golden State Warriors, when they won their first championship, whatever year that was, I don't know if that's seven years now, eight, nine years. I, don't, I lost track. But anyway, that's when I turned off my main TV service. That's the year I did it. After I watched that final championship game and Golden State won, uh, Golden State Warriors, it's a basketball team in the United States. Once they won, I said, okay, cutting it off. The summer before that, right, I had cut my TV, so let's, let's call it cable service. I cut my cable service off for the summer, just for the summer, because, you know, I had family. I had my son in the house at that point. I'm like, okay, he's probably going to go like crazy. I said, so let's just... Do it for the two months of the summertime, you know, like uh, June, July, and it'll make you do other things. You'll be surprised how quickly you'll start just doing other things. Like what? 
reading, that's what I'm getting into, okay? Even, let me tell you, even when the pandemic happened, I didn't have my TV. So I haven't had the, that kind of TV service since Golden State, seven, eight years ago, whatever that is. I don't care anymore. Okay. And by the way, I have a 40 inch flat screen. Okay. So I, I still have it. It's right over there. I see it right now. I save it there for company whenever they come over in case we need to connect the laptop to it and I could, you know, play movies on a big screen. So we're all now looking at a laptop, right? Okay. So I have a 40 inch. So, and I'm not getting anything bigger because it, it, that 40 inch is lucky that it's still there. I want to get rid of it like every other minute, but for now it'll stay there for company. Okay. All right. Segue into less TV and more what reading. Yes. Reading. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the times you don't hear YouTubers talking about that where financial YouTubers certain ones, you know, they're just like, oh, I didn't have to read anything. Oh, I didn't have to watch anybody. Oh, I just learned everything from YouTube. Yes, that's because they want you to watch YouTube and watch their videos. Okay. But some people did read certain things. Okay. And some people took courses and things like that. But the point is do some reading. We should all read for self-improvement. It's just a thing. If you want to get better and if you want to handle your own money, if you want to handle your own money, Best to believe you better be trying to improve that mind every chance you get. If you're not going to improve your own mind, pass your money over to a certified financial advisor who went to school for that, okay, and who can handle it. Because to handle your own money, you have to handle your mind, your emotions. You better know something. Do not show up with a first grade education, okay, and then just go, oh, yes, I'm just going to become like a... Bill Gates rich, Elon Musk rich, and whatever, Jeff Bezos, okay, and you never read anything ever past when you got out of school, not good, not smart. This channel here, people listening to me, if you want motivation, you got to pick up, come on, let's start picking up a book. And I'm not saying you got to like just turn through the pages or whatever. If you don't want to do it that way, because let me tell you, I'm running and gunning, all right? Like, I'm like, when am I going to get the time? And I have to handle other things, right? So this is the thing. Audiobooks. Audible. In the United States, we have the company called Audible. It's an app. Download it, right? Okay. And you can listen to whatever you want to listen to. Just like you can listen to a podcast on the go, you can listen to Audible books. So um, I know certain apps have free books for people who need free books and everything like that. Audible, I don't know how much my membership is, maybe $15 a month or something like that. And then you get some free credits, so you get some free books, okay? But my point is, long time ago, whatever year that was, I don't even know, I was like, oh, my God. When I was young, I used to read a lot. Then I just phased out in, you know, in my 20s and in my, like, 30s or whatever. And then I was like, wait, hold up, you know, money. Okay, hold up. And so then I phased back in, but I was like, I haven't read in a minute, right? I'm like, how are you going to get your muscles back? Just going slow. Just going. So this is the thing about consistency. Slow and steady wins the race. Just go in slow. You know, you maybe pick it up and you put it back down, but then you go back to it. Just try, go back to it. Things happen, right? I know. Motivational video. Put that sucker on. Okay, go back to it, right? Go back to it. Because anybody who's listening to this, if you have debt, right, work that down. Work that down and try to, like, get rid of it, okay? And I'm not saying you have to get rid of all your debt before you invest. I'm not saying that, but... If you have a certain amount of money, hit the debt, especially the one that is making you pay the most in interest rates and in in, in stuff, right? Hit that. Keep hitting that as you can trade a little, invest a little, whatever. But hit that debt. Don't, you know, oh, it's not there. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Because if the debt is going up, I mean, like, you know, more and more debt and you're only making a certain amount with your investments, like, are you breaking even, you know? Okay, some of these uh, interest rates, if they're like 25 percent on debt, I don't know, 12 percent, 25 percent, whatever. And you're only making like whatever percentage on your trading or on your stock investments. You know, you got to make it make sense. okay? because it takes time to become good at this. And that's another thing a lot of people don't say. They make it like, oh, yeah. Oh. Two months, I should be good to go. Yeah, no, no. No, it's not like that. No, it's not like that. 
You can get lucky in the beginning. Of course. Oh, yes. And I definitely got lucky in the beginning. I got lucky a whole lot of times, too. You know, and I'll call it luck and whatever even. But I think they call it that anything before you have the correct amount of, let me not say fear, but a healthy amount of like, oh, I could really lose here. Okay, hold on. I got to be smart about this. Oh, let me take it serious. Oh, this is not a video game. Yeah, no, this is not that. Okay, you got to be smart about it. So start reading. So right now, because this video is going on and everybody who stayed to the end, what about this? What about this? Okay. Yeah. What about this? So I was in a store the other day, right? This guy's like, what are you on? Because I want some of that. I'm on this. Because I'm on beast mode, people. A lot of times you don't see that. Running around, damn on beast mode, calling myself Kong. What? Yes. Okay? Because money doesn't make itself. Okay? I got to stay aggressive. I got to sit forward. I got to lean in. No one's coming to feed me or my cat. Okay? I got to feed myself. I got to feed my cat. And so do you. You got to feed yourself and you got to feed your family. This book, I like it. Let me show you a little something about this book. Hold on. Let me move this. I'm going to move my screen down. Just give me a minute here. Let's look at this. Okay. This is a little um, part from the book. It's a chapter where this is about Henry Ford. This book was written back in the day. Okay. By the way, this is why it took me such a long time to pick it up. It was like, oh my God, 1937 it originally was written. Right. And then, you know, it was, um, you know, remade and all this kind of stuff. So the newer copy I have revised, right, this, and then I also have it on Audible. So that's another thing. Hold on. Let me speak on that. Let me just, let me just speak on that. Okay. Sometimes, like, okay, I get tired because I'm doing, I'm juggling a lot of different things. What I'll do, <laughs> I will visually read the hard copy book as I'm listening to the audible in my ear. Okay, make sure it's the same thing so it syncs up, okay? So I will do it like that. And so... To get me over, like, say, the tough parts or the parts I really don't care so much about. So I could just fly through it. Because sometimes I'm tired. Like, I'm, you know, like, and you are too, probably. Okay? And this is why we're talking about motivation. So when you want to get over those hard parts, listen to the Audible book and keep going uh, through the book so you don't stop. Okay? So have a system to get you over the hard parts. Okay? And then when you get to a part where like, oh yeah, I want to read this highlight and all that, stop the audible. And then you just read for your own, with your own eyes. It's a point to that with your brain. It's better if you read yourself. Okay. How it encodes on your brain and everything like that. Science behind that. Okay. So anyway, Henry Ford here. Okay. And this part here, he's asking um, his people when he's trying to, you know, make the car. I think he wanted the cylinder eight here. Right here, I don't know how to highlight this part. Let me see, hold on. Let me see if I could get, okay. Okay, he wanted a cylinder, a cylinder, sorry, a cylinder, right? Everybody like, oh, it's impossible and all that. Okay, so what is this part here? I want it and I'll have it. Find a way, okay, hold on. Find a way to make your life fit what you really want and what you really want to have, okay? Find a way to make your, like if you're working a nine to five, things like that, find a way where, oh, maybe ask your boss, oh, can I do, can I work on the weekends if you want to be there for the stock market? Or can I do this or that or whatever you need to move your hours around? Or, you know, however you feel, or do you need two jobs? At one time, I had two full-time jobs. This is in the past. This is way before. I had two full-time jobs, 80 hours each. I mean, sorry, 40, 40 hours each, 80 hours all together, right? Okay, I spread out the second job so it covers six days in the week. So I had to show up at some job six days a week regardless, regardless of whatever's happening in my life, okay? And that was a total of 80 hours. And then clearly I still had to do other stuff, right? Okay, market never stops. So my point is, is that whatever your end goal is, you got to feel like I want it and I'll have it. Okay. You make it like that. You make it your business to feel like this. Okay. Because it says here in this book, 
And I want to um, leave you with this because this video has been going on. Somebody's been talking so much. I think it's me. All righty. Only those who become money conscious, money conscious people, not, oh, I think about it a little or, oh, maybe sometimes or vaguely or a past. No, money conscious. Okay. Ever accumulate great riches. Money consciousness means that the mind has become so thoroughly saturated with the desire for money that one can see oneself already in possession of it. You have to saturate yourself with these thoughts. You got to be like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Okay. Every morning you're thinking about your plan. When you wake up, you're saying this to yourself. Before you go to bed, you're saying this to yourself. When I look at my cell phone, my screensaver is my plan of, oh, I'm doing this. So I stay on my grind. You got to stay on your grind. Okay, you got to stay in your car because life is going to happen and life will punch you in the face. It constantly, not constantly, but I get punched in the face a lot by life. And I'm like, I don't take it personal. That's how life is. And that's what makes us stronger. And that's what makes me stronger to do what the hell I didn't done before and what I'm going to do today and onward. So I hope this helps give you a little bit of motivation. Keep yourself going. Do not give up. I will see you again next time. This is Miss Money Maker. All right. I'll see you on anything that moves. Bye for now.